Somebody that was unafraid to be herself and to be uh, dynamic and to create things that were just from the heart, like doing real art. I'm finding success now because of that notion and not making art for someone. It's like I'm just making my own work. Now all of a sudden the world's paying attention. And so I get to do things like this now that still are the same kind of processes but are very honest. Like, I mean, it's a really cool piece. I had done a mural a few years ago for my friend Shetty passed, and after Shetty passed, uh, she was killed in Miami. After she died, I didn't know what to do. I didn't actually make art for about a year. I just would go to my studio and just be in there and not make anything. I was super impressed. And then a couple years later, I've been thinking about like, okay, I want to go to Detroit and start to bring, like I'm ready to be there and like bring these skills back and start doing great projects and collaborations with artists here. Um, many of my friends are here. They kept the brain power here, they're here. And so the first project that I did in that conscious vein was the Shetty Hero, which is Shetty Forever. And it lives on the east side right now. We connected over our Detroit roots. Every single day, and um, you know, 
basically everything was boarded up. So once the boards went up, I mean like plywood boards boarded up. And so what we're working on right now behind me is plywood, uh, which is very actually super typical of the of the boards that we saw. But these are even in better condition because they were just trying to board up. They didn't want people to steal. I mean it's like Gucci, Dior, you know all these places that um, high end luxury good places. All of a sudden they dipped, and when they left, it reminded me of like the stories of. Um, white flight in Detroit. That was what was happening. It stands out on the highway. Uh, the first person that I did this, this newer project, because I've been doing this goddess project for about 15 years, really about 10 years, focused on it. It's been in di different um, materials, it's been in painting, sculptures, bronze work, and now it's in, as a street art project. Um, and they, they're basically the archetype of a black woman, of a goddess, as this, this woman from like Detroit. What would she look like? How would her hair be? Her nails, right? She would have like hair, hair, braids, lashes, you know, all these things. And, um, but as a goddess, you know, somebody that's very holy. And so I think about the aspects of these different women when I'm creating this thing. So it's not really based on someone in particular. Like I don't look at their photograph right now. This is, this is what we're doing. It's more data. We're making her goddess. The piece of, this piece of artwork is called um, Saint Selah, the patron goddess of art in the land of Royal Oak Township. A stand is a giant power station. Ticks each night as the city sleeps. A seconds from annihilation. But no one stopped to think about the people or how they would survive. And we almost lost Detroit. This time, how would we ever get over? Over losing our mind. The sheriff of Monroe County had. 